Yeah, Eric, I'm not sure too many teams go into Rupp and, and win by 15. Just what were your overall thoughts of tonight's performance? I thought, uh, you know, defensively, uh, we got much better in the second half. But, you know, offensively, you know, it's a team that's gaining more confidence. We did a really, really good job moving the basketball tonight and kind of shifting the defense. Uh, but defensively, you know, interior defense was really good. thought we did a good job. Um, you know, on, on 34, Oscar Toshiba, I thought both Mitchells gave us, you know, great physicality uh, inside. And then and then our guard play to start the second half with Anthony Black, his steals were extremely important. Obviously, we have not been turning people over as much as as, as we would like. Um, but tonight, you know, that 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 changed. And then, you know, Kentucky's done a great job of, of playing with pace and getting out and scoring on the break. And tonight I thought it was it was our best transition offense that we've had all year. And I know Jordan had a little bit of foul trouble tonight, but uh, at 13 points. Do you feel like you've you found something there with him coming off the bench? Well, I mean, I think we could still change, you know, lineups based on, uh, you know, opponents and. Um, but certainly the last two games, you know, Jordan's done a, a fabulous job for us um, coming off the bench and giving us defensive energy. And, you know, he's done a good job, you know, the prior game of rebounding the ball tonight. I thought he did a, a really good job of cutting without the basketball and, and uh, you know, just a just a great, great win uh, for us. And, and uh, you know, really proud of the team for leading for 33 minutes. That's really hard to do on the road and, and with a crowd like they had tonight. Scotty. Yeah, Eric, um, I guess you take competition into consideration. Where does this game maybe stand in terms of well-rounded performances from you guys this year? I mean, we just, you know, we're, we're you know, we're playing really good basketball at the right time. I, I think we're a team that continues to improve, Scotty. Um, you know, I've seen some great growth defensively, uh, you know, the, the, the last two games, uh, some crucial stops at crucial moments in the game. Um, you know, so just really, really proud of how the team has continued to evolve and continue to, you know, to improve. You know, A.B., you look at him on the floor, he's clearly hobbling sometimes. We just talked to him. Sounds like he's got a head cold, but he still put together a pretty impressive stat line. Just thought, thoughts on him tonight and just kind of the, the toughness and resilience he showed lately. I mean, Anthony's toughness is incredible. And, you know, I've talked about, I mean, the, the, these guys playing through injury and, and um, you know, I mean, Mikel continues to, you know, get rehab every day on his ankle. Ricky's back got tight again tonight. Um, you know, during a couple huddles, he had to stand up because um, sitting down, it, it got tight. And then obviously, you know, Anthony, whether it's, I mean, he blew his shoe out at one time. He's got three or four, you know, things that are, that are kind of bothering him and, and um, just really respect these guys for, for playing through um, and, and, and giving it up for the team. Cause, cause there's three guys that, that are not fully healthy. I can, I can tell you that. And we tried to have, have to manage that in practice as well. Christina. Yeah, Coach, obviously a big game for Mikels on both sides of the ball. Just curious for your evaluation on him overall, especially playing through that injury. I thought it was phenomenal. I mean, when he was in the game the night, we were we were plus 20. Um, you know, five block shots, seven blocks for the team. Uh, you know, seven of nine from the field. Uh, he did an absolutely incredible job of finishing. Uh, he hit that one huge mid-range shot. You know, I, I thought that, you know, the game kind of ended when we milked the shot clock. Uh, Devo made a shot with one second to go on a dribble drive, and, and Mikel hit that mid-range shot as, as the shot clock went off. So we, we did a great job burning, a, 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 you know, basically a minute off the, off the clock and, and scored four points, you know, right as, as the shot clock uh, ended. Um, but, the, you know, our locker room is, is, is feeling good. I thought the confidence level today at shoot around was, was, was probably at a, at a season high. Um, you know, when we had our film sessions, I thought we had, you know, great confidence. Um, 
just a great win for us, for sure. Kind of in that same vein, you know, you went from no road wins to two in a row, and the second of them was there at Rupp. So just what does that say about this team, like you said, playing their best basketball when they need to? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it since, this, you know, since the summer began that um, with all the new faces and then obviously with, you know, with with two major pieces not having played in a long time that, that you know, we knew we were going to continue to evolve. I mean, we, you know, we weren't this, you know, we're not the same team that we were in Hawaii. Um, you know, we're not the same team as we were when we played at Oklahoma, um, just based on personnel and availability of players and um you know, there's not many teams in the country that 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 could play um, with these type of injuries that we've dealt with, and 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 the quality of the players that that have not been able to participate with us and and find a way. It's a resilient group. I'm again, I'm I'm really proud of them. The huddles were great tonight. There was great communication amongst all five guys that were sitting in the chair. There was good communication by our bench, trying to help the guys that were on the floor. So. Um, a, a, a really great win and a team that had struggled, you know, three games losing, you know, three games by three. I mean, this team's a basket or two away from, you know, <laughs> from really having a great record. Curtis. Coach Devo's played Kentucky now three times. Obviously he's won in Rupp Arena before. Uh, how important was his leadership and, and playmaking on both ends of the floor tonight? Yeah, I thought, I mean, I thought all three guards, you know, Anthony, Ricky, and Devo, I thought all three of them, you know, were were phenomenal. Um, you know, Devo's uh, passing tonight, his seven assists, you know, he's been shooting the ball so well. And I can't tell you from a shot selection standpoint how proud I am of, of him playing to win tonight because he's been shooting the three at a really high level. Um, and he took what the defense gave him. He, you know, he was one of two from three. Um, you know, sometimes when when somebody takes 10 threes and makes four the next game, they come out and they hunt for that shot. Just really proud of his maturity and his game management tonight. Um, he's defending at an incredible level. I thought his his basketball decision making was was probably the best since I've been around him. Um you know, he played to win the game and, and he tried to do every possible thing that he could to help us come out of Rupp with a, with a W. And just, you know, if you just look at the the numbers on the offensive end on the, the box score there, you shot at an incredibly high percentage. The assist to turnover was, was probably at a place where you like it. What do you think keyed the offensive performance tonight? Well, I think we're getting better, Curtis, offensively. I know, I mean, there's been times where we've really struggled and there'll probably be other times this year where we've really struggled, but I do see improvement offensively. Um, ball movement was, you know, I thought it was our best ball movement, you know, of the season, to be honest with you. Um, we did a really good job spacing the floor as well. I didn't think that we had too many guys uh, crowding the lane. I thought we spaced it out well where we had dribble drive angles. Our bigs did a really good job of rolling, uh, you know, behind the pick and roll coverage. Um, so it's going to be a happy plane ride home. Bob, take us home. Hey, Eric, I looked at it. It had been 73 days between your happy plane ride home from Maui after being San Diego State and then the other day. Now, now you do it twice in four days. What do you think about that? No, I mean, we're ecstatic. I mean, we're we're really happy. Obviously, uh, you know, we needed a, a first one to get to a second one. But, you know, I hope that everybody recognizes that we that we were a pet possession away at Baylor and a possession away at LSU, a possession away at Missouri. It's hard to win on the road, um, but a ball club that that has dealt with injuries and 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 it was within one possession of three other road games. Um, I mean, it's a team that, like I keep saying, is, is it keeps getting better. And, you know, she, well, he had 30 and 18. And he's done it to a lot of people. But 30 and 18 against you guys last year. Tonight he has seven and seven. You know, probably what Cal, Cal probably want, wants to drink a few seven and sevens after that. But what, I mean, what did what, what, you think about the way, I guess, Mikel, and obviously he didn't do it all by himself, just the way you held a, down a star player, who I'm sure was very motivated after, you know, struggling against Florida scoring wise. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, we, 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 you know, felt that that Mackay and 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 Mikel would be, you know, matchups that 
that that they could body and meet and greet and kind of you know try to try to meet him at the foul line so that he couldn't establish great post position and then and then I thought we did an awesome job of digging in the post when he did catch it and and kind of playing a little bit of a yo-yo defense where where guys are in and out and and just trying to make him play a little bit in space but but just as importantly trying to defend the three point line of of their of their three uh, three point shooters with CJ Frederick number one and and obviously Cason Wallace and and Antonio Reeves. I mean, we didn't we didn't want to help off of those guys uh, inside. So, you know, we 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 picked and choosed other guys that, that we were going to help off a little bit. This was your two hundred uh, college win in eight years. That's that's pretty good. Thanks, Bob. You're the only one that knew that. Uh, when I was in Mike's notes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was in the advance or it was a, it was a yeah i think everybody else do but but it's good to acknowledge it but and three of those wins have been against kentucky um i don't think you played when you were in nevada but just well, what do you think about that i know you got a lot more wins in you but how nice to get a milestone win at rub and you're, you're three and one against uh, uk and you won three in a row not many people beat them three in a row yeah no i mean uh i think coach cal does an incredible job is is you know, his roster is always talented. They're, they're, they're really well coached. And, um, you know, again, I mean, the one thing with Kentucky is I, you know, I think that, that everybody gets up to play them um, and they get everybody's best shot. And I, you know, I, like I told you, I thought our shoot around was great. Um, just like it is probably for, you know, for many teams that, that play Kentucky because of how many wins they have year after year and, and, and what, what coach Cal has done with the program. So um, I know my mom was, pretty happy in San Diego. She was blowing my phone up um, with text messages. So that was pretty cool. And that's, you know, really Danielle and Mariah and Matt, Michael and Matt and my mom, as long as they're happy with, with the 200, I'll be happy. And then, you know, two, yeah. Two, two stats that really stand out 46, 28 points in the paint, 23, 10 points off turnovers. What, what do you think about those two things? Yeah. I mean, the, you know, the anticipation that, that Anthony had to start the second half uh, was great. I uh, did a great job on ball. I did a great job blowing up, um, you know, some dribble handoffs as well. So, um, you know, defensively, when you look at the blocks, you look at the steals, and then you look at the limited amount of turnovers we had, you know, all those are are really good recipes. And then you, you add in the fact that our three point uh, shot selection was, was really, you know, I thought great tonight. We didn't force shots and we, we did a great job of, of, uh, of understanding score and time late in the game as well as as we hit that six minute mark. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn it back for anybody else. Thanks. Anything else, for coach? Coach, the the hat. There has to be a story behind the hat, right? Yeah, essential quality. Uh, won the Belmont Stakes. Won, won the Travers, and uh, some of the staff uh, went there today. Um, I don't know what you call it—a horse farm or whatever—but we're in Kentucky, and um, some of the staff went. And uh, at the hat. Thanks, you guys.